Where is India in, in your book? I mean, you talk China, United States, and there is a huge country with tremendous world. Where is India? India is, a, is the country, I, 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 from all of the statistics using 10-year growth rates and also what, just what's apparent, India will have probably the greatest growth rate, the fastest growth rate economically, have the, um, the greatest transformation um, of any country. And I would say, like, if I was going to paint the world, there is this great power conflict and lots of go things going on that are great and terrible in both China and the United States. And then there's the countries that are not in that, the neutral countries. So here we are in the UAE, and you think about what's going on here and in Saudi and so on. Or you go to Singapore and you look at what's happening in the ASEAN countries, Indonesia, Vietnam and so on, and you look at India. It's an advantage through all history and world wars. Those that have not been involved in the wars and stand aside from the wars actually prosper from whatever the conflicts exist. So we're going to have different types of wars between those two states, but India is going to be. Now, the dynamic of it is very interesting because it's not really open. You know, it's dominated by a few families. Uh, it's not an easy place to get into. And, uh, it, you know, it, the capital markets haven't de developed it to the extent that they should develop. They will develop, probably. So there's a great, great deal of potential. But actually, is there going to be that kind of opening up that is going to create that kind of vibrancy for us all? India will do great, I, th I think, and then the question is, what does that mean for the rest of us?